Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMPE or SCPM. It's a self-paced paper. You have to be reading the modules. You have to be trying to appear for the paper and then clear it off. Get 50 out of 100 and try to be doing that as soon as possible, please. So therefore, towards the end of your CA Final, you are not bothered about the self-paced papers. I'm Anuj. This chapter is Introduction to Strategic Performance Management. We are covering every possible MCQ from the module in the detailed manner. Once that is done, we are going to be covering Board of Studies MCQs too. So let's start it off. Let's see whatever we all have in today. A Motors directed a steels to deliver a specific metal material for its upcoming e-vehicle, considering the design. Okay. Engineers from Production and Operation Division of A Motors visited to A Steel to explain the needs after the deliberation. To explain the needs after deliberation decided some of the process needed to be performed in such metal. While in process A Steel plant only, even prior to bring A Motors plant. So you are A Motors, you purchase some material from A Steels. Now, a Motors engineers basically wanted A Steel to perform some process before the material or that metal comes to us. One of the engineers from A Motors placed at A Steel till such metal is prepared and delivered to keep a check at specifications. Above fact highlights the concept of, okay, bring me the four options, value chain, okay, second value systems. Third, value specifications and lastly, value set. In case you all know the answer, this is the time to be commenting on it. Now see, uh, you all should be knowing this. I'll erase this from the screen for some time. But what do you mean by value chain? See, value chain is basically in your own organization, you keep on doing activities, each activity adds some value. That is called as value chain. You have five primary activities, four secondary activities. You all know about them before. You have inbound logistics, you have operations, then you all have outbound logistics, marketing and sales, and lastly, after sales service. And then four secondary activities, okay, your uh, procurement, firm infrastructure, technology, and human resource. Now, the thing that has started to happen is that value chains are becoming very complex. And these days, it is not only important to manage your own business, but it is also very important that you combine value chain with the value chain of suppliers. So therefore, suppliers exactly deliver whatever you want. It should not happen that suppliers send something and then we have to try to modify it. That only increases our cost, wastes our time. So these days, there is a concept of value systems. Value systems is nothing but it is value chain of one company when combined with the value chain of the suppliers. That gives you a bigger thing called as a value system. These days, every company somewhere or the other is part of value systems. To give you just a small example, a very small example. Earlier, what we used to be doing long time ago, okay, that we give our book for printing, the publisher will be printing our books. Okay. And then we used to be putting one coupon inside. Okay. And that coupon can be used, okay, to get some discount in the future courses. Now, this used to be increasing our work. So, what I told to my supplier is that whenever you send us the book, there should be a perforation that should be there in the beginning. Okay. That the student should be able to tear. And then he will bring that tear perforation to us to avail that particular discount. So therefore, I interfered in my supplier's work, okay, and I exactly got what I want. This is combining my value chain with the value chain of my supplier. So therefore, this is basically called as value systems, okay. These are bigger value chains, means your own company's value chain, which starts to get combined to value system. Let's see what module says about this. To look at a bigger picture, value system means wider integration. Wider integration means combining your value chain with that of the supplier. Extended value chain encompasses customer specifications, customers, customers, and supplier suppliers. So therefore, I try to combine my value chain with that of the supplier 
and sometimes even with that of the customer also suppose i send to the distributors okay distributors they all pack something now that packing can be done by me only before i send them the goods okay so therefore like you know their work will be made easier because by creating an extended organization a dynamic and hostile environment can respond in a better manner obviously we can better make the product a firm's value chain is connected to what porter calls as a value system why it is necessary to consider a bigger picture that is value systems because a value chain recognizes no organization can operate in isolation from its suppliers and customers example a meal served to you at a restaurant drives its value from the ingredients that are determined and impacted by the grower now to give you a small example of this type to give you a small example now whenever i am not well okay i usually don't take any medicines i drink tulsi pani a lot so those people who know tulsi okay you all will be knowing like you know it's a medicinal plant now tulsi can be grown in various ways but one of the ways to grow uh, grow tulsi is that uh, no pesticides are used organic tulsi now that has a very high medicinal value as compared to where the fertilizers are used so there is one guy in, Gu in gujarat whom i purchase that tulsi from okay and then we like you know boil it up and so on that helps me a lot now so therefore i interfere in the work of my supplier and then these guys like you know exactly give me whatever i want so therefore my job starts to become easier so therefore like you know if in future ever i try to make that as a business although i have got no intention but i will be able to exactly give a proper kind of a medicine in future this is whatever many people do also to be honest okay so therefore these bigger kind of value chains are called as value systems is because today no company is working in isolation so therefore a bigger term has come value system so out of the four options I guess the answer that should be there should be B that is nothing but value systems. Let's see that. Yeah, that's the correct answer. I'll see you all next time in another MCQ. Take care till that time. Happy learning. Bye.